Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another Warframe builds video. In this video, we're going to be having a little look at Sephir trying to utilize all of her kit here and mostly for survivals. Um, a lot of fighting going on for zone control as well, bringing enemies to you, utilizing your tornado. So you are going to want an open area as much line of sight on you as possible because you're not really going to be hurt throughout this entire build. You'll be surprised just how incredibly effortless this build is so let's just go ahead and jump straight into it now as you can go ahead and see on the screen here uh range <laughs> pour everything into range range and essentially duration are the only stats that you need to be paying an awful lot of attention to and throughout okay now strength isn't actually needed here and you will notice that we've taken off her first ability for gara's spectra range uh, and the spectra siphon augment in here this is how we're going to get a lot of energy back spectra siphon with arcane energize with prime flow we're going to be using these an awful lot to go ahead and get our energy levels back and our energy is up here 638 you can also pair this with xenuric focus score as well and personally you might as well because none of the other schools really need to be included within this kit so uh, any kind of energy over time or any kind of um switching out to your operator and uh, or even getting a free cast every 60 seconds either way just energy return is basically what you're looking for from there onwards range now why range because range scales on airburst because range scales on turbulence and because range scales on tornado uh, the concept of this basically is to pull all of the enemies in towards you is to go ahead and max out your turbulence so that any kind of uh, projectiles or hits that whatever they're not gonna hurt you uh, many many users may go and get through but honestly you'll be crowd controlling them with airburst which is just fantastic so at this point nothing's going to end up touching you these are really good defensive and also good offensive allowing your defensive to be used offensively and then we basically pulled them in and then we're going to be casting the tornado or casting tornadoes so we're going to shoot into that for a damage modifier and we're just going to nuke everything else around us so it is kind of very zone control and uh, you you want to be in bigger spaces the bigger spaces the better things like mobile defenses defenses uh, interceptions uh, survivals these are the kind of missions that we're looking for a build like this in and now um as for everything else natural talent is really good if you want it's going if you or if you don't have natural talent you can also get it from matterize focus school as well by switching in and out of your warframe uh to your operator back to your warframe but natural talent is really good here for just for the tornado casting mostly from there onwards, whenever your uh, whenever your turbulence falls down, you can go and use rolling guards, go and situate yourself a bit better, and then go and get another cast of turbulence back up. Again, these abilities are going to make you hold still for a moment, so that natural talent is going to allow you to speed that process up, which is really nice. Uh, mole efficiency, why not more a little bit more duration in here? Um, if you did want to go and play around with something else, pop in a little bit more duration in for your turbulence, so you don't have to cast it as often. It's totally fine, and the same goes with your spectra rage. You don't have to cast it as often if you go for a bit more duration in the kit range uh strength like i said is not needed and efficiency so long as you've got flow spectra siphon and energize uh, you'll get an awful lot coming back all right so it's a very simple very fun build to go ahead and use i've been doing this in mott steel path level 140 plus enemies and honest to god even the acolytes don't have a way to really answer uh what you end up doing with it uh, now as for a weapon i do go ahead and pair the natarak with this and we're doing a bit of a gas build and you do have to keep in mind that the way that gas works with the tornadoes or just the way that the tornadoes work in general is they have a particular damage cap on them so once you've hit like a tornado an x amount of times or for an x amount of damage it basically renders that tornado useless so with this build you'll find yourself kind of casting and recasting in tornadoes basically every one to two cycles you'll you'll uh you'll put the tornadoes down you'll go and pop it with your bow and then you'll um that's mostly about it you just keep pulling enemies in and then i recast again so i'm always recasting tornadoes and uh it, it works fantastically though gas just synergizes very well with the build with those extra dots and the extra multipliers and overall you just become a wrecking machine and it's very effortless like i said it's so so effortless keep that third ability up at all times protect yourself crowd control all of the enemies pull them over towards you keep in mind for a couple of cheeky Xmas units or units that can't be crowd controlled because of overguard or whatever means like i don't know uh vor for example whenever he shows up in the mot survival really annoying but you're not going to be able to go and deal with him as much so you want to go and focus on him uh, himself but otherwise everything is in your control and this is a very heavy control build so i'm going to keep the video short and sweet as and simple to the point i hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you did 
enjoy it please go and give it a like please go leave a comment uh, anything in this build that you guys have in instead of what i do or anything else that you guys can consider throwing else in there but as always go ahead and share the video subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys again in the next video